Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm here again with Randy Prelowitz from SkyTech. Uh, last time we met, we did talk a little bit about uh, what SkyTech can do, what you apply, cover crops, that sort of thing. Uh, but today we wanted to talk a little bit about fungicide. About how much fungicide does SkyTech apply? Uh, that's the majority of our, our application is, is fungicides uh, or an insecticide. Uh, the exact acres, I'm not really sure of. Uh, as a company, our, we did probably right around 200,000 acres last year or a little bit over. And so I, I would guess that probably three-fourths of that would be a fungicide or an insecticide application, just kind of a ballpark figure. might even be a little bit higher than that, but... So, so why should a why should a producer apply fungicide? Like, what's the uh, the benefit? Well, the biggest thing with applying a fungicide is, uh, you know, most producers. I mean, it, it's plant health for your plant, uh, which you know, in, results in uh, most of the time a yield bump uh, for the crop that you're putting it on. You know, but most fungicides we put on is is on corn around here, uh, but we also do, we're starting to do more and more on beans also. And so if, if that producer can make an application of fungicide at the correct time, and uh, he can see a return on investment of that fungicide, you know, that, uh, so he's, he's, he's able to get more bushels out of that field than without putting a fungicide on it, and so the bushels he's getting out of it are more than paying for the, the fungicide application. So my next question was gonna be how do you know it really works, but I think you just kinda of answered that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just the plants are, they stay greener in the heat of the summer. Your leaves are not going to, you, you won't see them uh, curl up as much, you know, because the fun, for one thing, the fungicides are, our, uh, your plant becomes much more efficient in water usage. So it, uh, it, its water intake is, is not, it don't need to be as great as without the fungicide on it, just from the, the chemicals reactions or stuff that's going on in the plant, you know, and so uh, the plant becomes more healthier and, and, and then at grain fill time, you know, it reflects at grain fill time, you know, that the, the, usually your test weights are, are higher, which in turn results in more bushels. So, so is there anything that the the producer should consider adding with the fungicide? Or? Well, a lot of times, if you're making that fungicide application, you know, and you want to check, obviously, with your if you're scouting your fields, or if you're having your fields scouted, or if you want us to look at your fields. Uh, but uh, it, it's a good time also to put an insecticide in with it. Uh, you know, it's, you're, you're already paying for the application for the airplane. And for most instances, an insecticide uh, costs very little more to, to add to the mix. Uh, you know, especially if you're put, doing it on soybeans. Soybeans, you almost always should be putting an insecticide in to, with your- With it? With it, right. So after they get their, their fungicide and possibly the insecticide, what's, what's the next step? Well, as far as, uh, you know, as, as far as our part of the season, I mean, as the fungicide and insecticide starts kind of winding down, then we go right into cover crops. You know, we try to start applying our cover crops is, usually it's around mid-August. Uh, last year, things were a little bit later, so we, it was about the last week in August, but, uh, so we start putting, uh, applying whatever rye, oats, uh, weed, or whatever into standing cornfields as they're starting to, you know, before they're actually starting to dry down. And so, uh, and then when our cover crop season, it'll probably run into October. And then after that, we'll start uh, fall pasture application, so. Okay, so... Uh, somebody sees this, they want to get some fungicide, what, what do they need to do? They just, you need to, to 
go to your local farmers cooperative agronomy location and and turn your maps in there and they can help you if you're not sure you know what you're looking to put on there there's many good uh, types of fungicides out there uh, the one thing with farmers co-op we all we apply all branded uh, fungicides are all branded products where we do not use no generics okay. uh, we have some good prices on some of the branded products so you, you still should be able to get some you know good good bang for your good, buck. right good bang for your buck exactly all right well I appreciate you coming out I just wanted to reiterate for everyone again uh, if you want to get a hold of SkyTech and get them get them out in your field just hit up your local farmers cooperative branch and they'll get you started exactly Thanks for your time. Thanks, Nolan.